There are many different ways to define bilingualism, but essentially bilingualism refers to knowledge of two languages. Um, multilingualism refers to having knowledge of three or more languages. And indeed, bilingualism and multilingualism are very common with increased migration rates and increased globalization of commerce. More and more people are finding the need to be able to speak and use more than one language. So it's a very common phenomenon. There are many different settings in which a child might become bilingual, but there are two main routes. The first is simultaneous bilingualism, where the child will be exposed from birth to two languages. The second is sequential bilingualism, where the child is at first exposed to one language from birth, and then after a period of time, the child is introduced to a second language, where both languages continue to be relevant in the child's environment. There is no evidence to suggest that bilingualism causes problems for children. Um, in fact, the evidence suggests that quite the opposite, that being bilingual can confer uh, important cognitive advantages for children, such as having increased language awareness, which actually can help facilitate literacy skills. There is no evidence to suggest that coping with two languages is difficult for children. Research has shown that uh, bilingual children reach the same linguistic milestones as their monolingual peers and within roughly the same time frame. Parents should speak in the home the languages that they feel are, they are most competent in and that they wish to support the child in learning. It's important for parents to realize that developing knowledge of the home language uh, is related positively to the learning of a second language. So the more home language knowledge the child has in terms of their oral proficiency and also in terms of their literacy skills can actually really help the knowledge and development of second uh, or majority language. And there are many reasons as well to develop knowledge of the home language, both in terms of social identity and also for forging strong connections with the heritage or home community from which the family may come and being able to speak to family members such as grandparents and the like. It's quite common for parents to speak different languages to the child, and there is no evidence to suggest that this is in any way difficult or confusing to children. In fact, there are many settings around the world where, where children are exposed to these two languages in the home since birth, uh, and in fact, in settings where parents might even mix two languages, which we call code mixing. And this is a very natural part of bilingual language development and there's no evidence to show that this in any way confuses the child or slows down their rate of language development.